Okay, if I, if I can have everyone's attention real quick, if we can just quiet down just for maybe 60 seconds. Can you hear me in back? Can you hear me in back? Good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear? Can you guys hear in the back? Raise your hand. Dan McCormick, can you hear us? Can it get louder at all? Or is that as loud as it'll go? Hey, we're going to get started in just a few minutes. Want to let everybody know, and we need, can we see if that's working? Thank you. We're, um, we're going to start in just a few minutes. Uh, Rick Carroll will give you all of the instructions for the parade. It's the same as every year. Rick is now the parade chairperson. And we'll start right at 12.15. We are broadcasting live on YouTube. We've got people watching in Ireland. We have people watching in Cancun. Uh, different parts of Florida, and of course here in Traverse City, and I can't remember uh, where else. So uh, pretty excited about that. But we'll actually officially start at 12.15. Just wanted to let everybody know uh, what is going on. Also, too, uh, parking came by, and they issued a person a ticket right out in front here. And they said that if the car is still there in two hours, they're going to tow it. It's a hundred dollar ticket and parking in a handicapped zone. But I don't know whose car it is. But if that's your car, you're going to want to move it or they're going to um, tow it. Can you hear in back? OK, they'll turn the volume up uh, as we get closer to starting at 1215. We'll speak really loud. Every speaker, and that includes you, Mike Shirley, will speak real loud. So welcome. Thank you uh, for joining us. And uh, what a record crowd. There's 65, 70 people upstairs watching on YouTube. So thank you. You can get back to talking. We'll put some more music on and start in 10 minutes. <laughs>
I don't need it yet. Later in the program. Thank you. All right. Hello. Is that as loud as it'll go? Good afternoon, everyone. We can we right if we have to we have to start clubbing people, we will. Now, welcome to the 44th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade festivities. Uh, excited for everybody to be here. Uh, excited, uh, and I'm Rick Coates, by the way, and excited for all the people that are watching on YouTube and want to say hello to everybody that's upstairs in North Bar, where, uh, yeah, they can't see you waving. You got to get up here and wave, Rick. Uh, so, a Boo Footed Booby uh, will be performing from one to five upstairs. So, you can check that out after the parade if you'd like. So, with that, uh, oh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Tom McCarthy, one of our brothers uh, in Ireland watching. And then my uh, uh, friends, uh, Patrick and Seamus, who are also in Ireland with their spouses watching at a pub there. And a shout out to Kathy Nolan, who is watching at home because she just had surgery. So with that, I'm going to turn everything. Yep. Yeah. So with that, I'm going to turn everything over to our uh, most worthy president, uh, John O'Brien, and we're going to get the show on the road. So look in here and you're good to go. Go close to the microphone. Is this close enough? Yes. Louder though. Carrie doesn't let me get this close. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody to the 40. Louder? I don't think it's loud. Also, don't push any buttons. Don't push any buttons. Just 
I can't. I'm swallowing it right now. All right. Welcome to the 44th annual AOH Bun Brady St. Patrick's Day Parade. Today is the second parade since the uh, three-year pandemic pause. And given that we've had about 220 reservations, I think we've come back pretty doggone strong. I want to thank Rick Coates for everything he's done and does every year for the uh, High Holy Day celebration. Rick Carroll, who has taken over for Mike Nolan, who's gotten way too old to do it. Uh, yes. Oh, he's here, but he's too old to handle the parade. For Larry Avery, who always steps forward and leads the singing. You do a great job, Larry. Thank you. To the drivers who are driving today in the parade, the only thing I ask is you stay sober, at least kind of. <laughs> to Ernie. Ernie's playing the bagpipes back here a little bit earlier. He'll be playing them out here. I'm trying to think of Ernie's last name, but I wasn't able to think. Well, let me finish. <laughs> We're going to have Irish dancers from Cadillac who will be in the parade today. And uh, they're not here yet. But uh, And then I wanted to say thank you to Britain, who has sponsored some of the uh, banners. And finally, to the pub, who's hosting the activities. Years ago, we used to have the Lucky, lucky Leprechaun uh, to raise some money for the parades. Uh, our previous sponsors also sold a beer in honor of the parade, and we were able to raise some money that way. We've got a couple of donation jars out, four of them. If uh, you got a couple of extra bucks, throw them in there to help cover some of our expenses, and we'd be very grateful. After the ceremony, we're going to head out to the parking lot here uh, to start uh, uh, getting uh, staging for the parade. The drivers, we've got some things for you to do out there. Um, but if there's any questions, look for Rick uh, Rick Carroll. With that, I'm going to ask Father Cotter to come up and give the official opening prayer to this week, month, uh, year's uh, event. Well, you got to hold it close. Yeah. This is a test to see if it's working for the young people. If you want to get involved, ask them on the parade route if they are hearing you. Which direction is Ireland? Towards Kalkaska or towards Empire? Okay, we're not going to quiz the adults. The, the prayer will come from some of the words of St. Patrick himself, taken from the prayer book. He wrote a book uh, called The Confessions. Not, not to confess sins, but Augustine wrote, wrote one also. But these are his own words uh, leading us into a very short prayer. And you have to understand with St. Patrick that he was born in Great Britain and he was taken to Ireland as a slave. And then he returned to Great Britain, he escaped, and he came back at the directions of the Pope to convert the pagans of Ireland at the time to bring them into belief. Men, your hats. My days, or have knowledge of God, the gift of knowing and loving God, though at cost of homeland and family, I came to the Irish peoples to preach the gospel and endure the taunts of unbelievers, suffering many persecutions, even bondage, and losing my birthright of freedom for the benefit for others. I want to spend myself in that country, even in death, if the Lord should grant me this favor. And the closing two sentences will be read as this will be read by Pope Francis tomorrow morning. Same words, same book that are read around the world in the breviary. 
our closing prayer. God, our Father, you sent St. Patrick to preach your glory to the people of Ireland. By the help of his prayers, may all Christians proclaim your love to all, Irish, all men. And so on behalf of the Pope, I also, it doesn't say here, but I wish all of you a delightful day today. Celebrate all wise and not so wise if you're not Irish. Okay, <laughs> celebrate well. All right, thank you, Father so Connor. Yeah. I'm sure the Pope will say all of that tomorrow. All right, with that, uh, Rick Carroll is our parade chairperson now, taking over for Mike Nolan. I took over a few years ago from Mike Shirley, who held this post of MC, and we will be presenting the Mike Shirley High Burning of the Year Award here coming up in just a minute. But let's have Rick Carroll explain the parade process. Oh, I gotta go down. I gotta get my phone. Yeah. Thank you, Rick. All right. Uh, first of all, I want everybody to uh, give a big round of applause for our Hibernian president. This guy has sweated every detail of this parade for, oh, like 10 months. And uh, his lovely companion, Carrie, has had to put up with him. So give a big round of applause for John O'Brien. Give it up. All I can say is, are you ready to rumble? I won. No. All right. Uh, so I took over for Mike Nolan. No one can ever take over for Mike Nolan. And it, it's a long, long way to Tipperary, but State Street is not that far. And so uh, we're going to queue up over in the parking lot, what the old timers used to call the Millikan's parking lot. I think they call it the Keene parking lot now, sort of uh, behind uh, the U and I. A lot of us have spent some time there. So we're supposed to queue up at 1.15. And we will start the parade. And the the uh, we've got, I think, four or five vehicles. We're going to start out with the Lord Mayor and then uh, go from there. We've got uh, the, uh, I never know what to call it, the Queen of the Fairies or sometime it's the Maid of Erin. No, it's the Maid of Erin. Maid of Erin. Yep. So the, and the Prince of Leprechauns. And the Prince of Leprechauns. And then we have the Grand Marshal of the Parade and the, who else? High Burning of the Year. I should get Rick up here to do this. So uh, after this is over, when I get off the microphone and we complete the process, we will all head down there. And as you know, they're going to save our tables. So have another pint and have fun. Awesome. Big round of applause for Rick Carroll. Thank you. I deserve it. Okay, if, 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 um, if I can have everybody just be silent, we're going to have a moment of silence. Uh, we're going to uh, remember our um, brothers uh, and our queens who have uh, departed. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're going to do a tribute song to them, but I'm going to read the uh, list. We'll start with the queens. And, of course, just to... What, about a month ago, I believe, uh, first queen mother, Louise Haggerty, uh, passed away. Uh, Peggy Wilson, Pat Dutmers, Mary Keenan, Patricia, Patricia Conlon, Geraldine McCarthy, Sheila Klein, and Margaret Griffin, who we'll be hearing more about uh, later in the program. Our brothers who have passed away, Jeff Bryant, Howard Byrne, Richard Kane, Dennis Carney, Bernard Carroll, Stuart Christian, John Conley, Gerald Falloon, Patrick Fraley, Robert Goodrich, Patrick Haley, Kevin Harrington, Timothy Lejeune, Dan McCarthy, Dan McDonald, John McGovern, and Dennis Taylor. So we'll take a moment of silence. 
Thank you. And Larry is going to lead us. Uh, if you turn to your song sheets, he's going to uh, lead us in the parting glass and a little bit of heaven. We'll do a little bit of heaven first. If you don't know the words, just hum along. Have you ever heard the story of how Ireland got its name? Well, I'll tell you so you'll understand from whence old Ireland came. No wonder that I love that dear old land across the sea. For here's the way me dear old mother told the tale to me. Sure, a little bit of heaven fell from out the sky one day. And it nestled in the ocean in a spot so far away. And when the angels found it sure, it looked so peaceful there. They said, suppose we leave it, for it looked so peaceful there. Then they sprinkled it with stardust just to make the shamrocks grow. Tis the only place you'll find them, no matter where you go. Then they dotted it with silver just to make the lake so grand. And when they had it finished, sure they call it Ireland. It's n number number three. Of all the money that e'er I had, I spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I done, alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Of all the comrades that e'er I had, they're sorry for my going away. And all the sweethearts that e'er I had, they wished me one more day to stay. But since it falls unto my lot that I should rise and you should not, I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. If I had money enough to spend and leisure time to sit a while, there is a fair maiden in this town that surely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks and ruby lips, I own she has my heart in thrall. Then fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. All right. So i um, going to call a little audible here. I know football season's over with, but uh, I happened to go to get our next speaker, Mike Shirley, and I saw that McKeel Haggerty is here. And I went to one of the memorial services for his mother, and he gave a, a really wonderful tribute about a very important person, a very important woman in this community. And so I asked McKeel on the fly just to come up here really quick and say a few words about his mother. Thank you, uh, thank you everybody. It is wonderful to be with you during this great celebration. Um, this week and, and this day was one of my mother's favorites. And she, you may have heard earlier, she was often referred to as the, the queen mother. Um, and that was because in the early days of the Irish queens and the Irish Lord mayors that they, my mother was kind of the organizer of the whole thing. And, um, you know, while uh, she just had a, she just loved this group. She loved being part of it. She loved being part of this community. 
And I can absolutely tell you that, you know, in her, um, you know, in her final years, um, she was really in a really peaceful place. And she'd talk all about the people in this town that did great things for it. And I know that she thought so fondly of everybody here. And she would always just say this, isn't this the best? Isn't it the best that we're all together? And that was really the spirit of my mother. So thank you very much for recognizing her today. Thank you. So we're going to have uh, Mike Shirley come up to present uh, the award that we put in his uh, honor. Uh, or no, wait a minute, not, not, he's not going to present that. I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Uh, Mike uh, Shirley is going to introduce our uh, Grand Marshal. Our Grand Marshal. So, and we will get that. Come on up, Mike. Did you get the, the sheet that oh. I gave your wife? Oh, uh, I, I know what to say. No, oh, wait, she, there's a there's a fine. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, here, go get that sheet. So we got, got a little. There is a little miscommunication here, and uh, the official the, the official statement didn't get handed off to him. So there you go. All right. Okay. Now Mike Shirley introducing. Uh, okay. Hi, Mike Shirley. Really close it's, to the microphone. It is a great pleasure that introducing. Got to get that microphone right in. Our place. Okay, 2024 St. Patrick's Day Parade Grand Marshal, Bridie Wolf. Bridie was born in Belfast, Ireland to Jack and Charlotte uh, Cook, and she was one of six kids. She left Ireland to work and go to school in Germany and travel. She had traveled around Ireland, and it was time to see the world. In her third year of traveling, she met a handsome American soldier, Paul, who was stationed there and they eventually got married. They had 47 wonderful years together and had two wonderful daughters, Paula and Aaron, four grandkids and two great grandkids who are the loves of her life. When she arrived in Traverse City, she was realized, she realized there were, were no Irish festivals so coming from an Irish music and dancing background, she started to teach Irish dancing, or, organize Irish Kaylee dancing and uh, built Irish floats for parades. She just discovered a large Irish community in Traverse City and has enjoyed the fun and the uh, 47 years. She is Irish queen number five and the queen mother of a beautiful Irish queens, queen mother of them. Bridie is an Irish rebel at heart and prays for a united Ireland. Bridie, we are honored to have you as our grand marshal. Yay. Oh, oh. Do you want to say just a few words? Hey, hey girls, I've got another shillelagh. You better be good. <laughs> Go Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. This has been going on for, what, 47 years? You were 12 when it started, right? Yes, we've all, we've all grown old together, Michael. <laughs> Michael was the first one we met at the parade, the first parade. It's been great. The fun's been great for 47 years, and the crack has been out of this world. Thank you all very much. Good day, Mara Tattoo. you got to get right into the microphone to start again. Good day, Mara Tattoo. Tell me about my Gormay Oga. Good day, Mara Tattoo. Ian, be his Lydia. Ireland forever up the rebels. All right, uh, next up, we're going to introduce uh, our Maiden of Aaron. Actually, this year we have two Maidens of Aaron. So 
Uh, we'll have them come up and it'll be a real easy walk for them. Ursula Emmeline Nolan and Francis Jean Nolan. Come on up. Here's your tiara okay. you can put on. Okay. You're gonna have to probably take your hat off and put your tiara cool. on. And then you have your scarves too. Okay. Well, like this. <laughs> well, you can have your mom help you, but here's your scarf. Do you ladies have anything you wanna say? Do you wanna say anything? Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you and hi grandma. Oh, that's good, saying hi to grandma at home, yeah. Oh. Okay, and we have a prince of a uh, leprechaun, and that is um, uh, Jacob Kennedy. Is that right? Malik. It didn't somehow uh, didn't end up on the program. Malik, come on up. Sorry about that. I wonder why that. How are you doing? So we have we have a couple of hats for you. We got that one, yeah. And I don't know where the oh, here's the other hat. <laughs> You won't want to wear that all the time, but you can wear that today. And we got you a nice hat from Ireland. Thank you, Malik. And you'll get the instructions. Okay, with that, I'm going to turn the microphone over to uh, Julie Jennings Edwardson, who was last year's queen, and she will introduce uh, the queen for this year. You got to speak right into right into the microphone. Yeah, just like this. You're gonna to want to feel it on your bottom lip. Oh, really? Okay. 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 Can you hear me? No. Okay. Good afternoon. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This way. Okay. Okay. I'd like to introduce to you this year's queen, Margaret Griffin, um, born. 1951 and raised in Detroit. Margaret traveled across the United States before attending college and becoming an LPN working at St. Joseph Hospital. Margaret later moved to Traverse City and worked as an LPN at Munson Medical Center for over 35 years. Margaret loved providing care, bringing happiness and laughter to those in her care. The last two and a half years, Margaret was an LPN at French Manor Terra in Traverse City, a position that she loved. Margaret is a true Irish lass, one who participated in all the St. Patrick's festivities in Traverse City. Margaret in recent years became involved with the St. Patrick's Day events in Honor, Michigan in 1991, and Margaret was named the first St. Patrick's Day Parade Irish Queen in Honor. Her Irish eyes were smiling. Margaret was well known at all the parades in her long green coat, her various St. Pat's hats, and always passing out green beads. Margaret and her daughter, Katie, were the closest of friends, buddies, and had a relationship that was to be truly admired. It is with great sadness to tell you that Queen Margaret passed away earlier this year, and her daughter, Katie Griffin, is going to receive her cape and gown and represent her in this year's parade. So Katie, if you could come up here. Katie, okay. Okay, okay dear. We know you're up there in heaven, passing out green beads and smiling down upon us. Um, let's give a toast. Raise your glasses. Let's give a toast to Margaret. Salanta. Salanta. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, it's really hard, but thank you. 
Everybody loved your mom. My mom would have been proud to be here today. And I'm so happy to take her place. And right now she would be going around here, passing out the beads and saying hi to everyone that she knows. She couldn't go anywhere without knowing anybody. And I really appreciate you guys all being here. Thank you. So we're going to honor Queen Margaret with a song that Larry Avery is going to lead us in, and it's the Black Velvet Band. You can find that on your song sheet. Where's Todd? Where's Todd? Todd, make sure you do your part. All right, make sure you get everybody to do your part. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You think she was queen of the land? And she was. With her hair gone over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. As I went walking down Broadway, not intending to stay very long, I met with a frolicsome damsel as she came tripping along. A watch she pulled from her pocket and slipped it right into my hand. On the very next day I met her, bad luck to the black velvet band. Before the judge and the jury, the both of us had to appear. And a gentleman swore to the jury, the case against us was clear. Seven long years in confinement, right down to the Dan Demon's land. Far away from my loved and relations, to follow the black velvet band. Eyes, they shone like the diamonds. Do you think she was queen of the land? And she was! With her hair thrown over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. Awesome. Uh, let's make some noise for our queens. They're the ones who really got this parade going. They got this parade going 44 years, 45 years ago. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now uh, with that, we are going to uh, have Larry Avery, who was last year's Lord Mayor, uh, introduce this year's Lord Mayor. Our Lord Mayor, Mayor 2024 is able to trace his Irish ancestry back several generations to County Donegal. His great-great-grandfather Alexander was born in County Donegal and eventually moved to Derry before emigrating to Lapeer, Michigan in 1830. He ended up running a farm and having four daughters and four sons, one of those sons, Albert Burton was born in 1861 and is the great grandfather of our Lord Mayor. Albert moved to Fife Lake area in 1880. His nickname was AB and he quickly became a community leader and entrepreneur. He had a farm, a sawmill, and a store at Breeds Lake near West Sharon Road. Later AB would end up with a dance hall and a pavilion at Fife Lake near the ballpark area. Now this is important. The dance hall would eventually burn down and possibly served as a motivation for our new Lord Mayor to become a fireman. AB died the 20th of March, 1948, holding on, to this, uh, holding on for one last celebration of St. Patrick's Day and a Guinness and is buried in Fife Lake Cemetery. He had three sons and three daughters. His son, Albert Jr., was born in 1893 and the grandfather to our Lord Mayor. He moved to Detroit in early 1900 and became an accountant and attorney and had two sons. One of those sons, Albert Burton III, is the father of our new Lord Mayor. Albert III was born in 1927 in Detroit. 
He served in the U.S. Navy during World War II before attending Ferris State, uh, attending, uh, uh, getting a bachelor's degree in accounting before heading to DePauw and earning a law degree. An accountant and attorney, just like his dad. Eventually settled in Grand Rapids and had two, ch uh, two children, a daughter and our Lord Mayor. He was born in 1957 in Grand Haven and attended uh, Creston High School in Grand Rapids and was a classmate of Doug Meyer, the current Lord Mayor, our current co-chair of Meyer Supermarkets. After graduating in 1975, he joined the U.S. Navy. He served 10 years with the Navy and earned a bachelor's in electrical engineering from the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. Our Lord Mayor eventually moved to the North and worked for four winds uh, for four years. He moved to TC and worked for a couple contract manufacturers in Traverse City and Gaylord. He also ran his own design business for four years. He joined the fire department in Williamsburg, just like his great granddad. He moved to Antrim County and joined the Milton Township Fire Department, retired as the chief deputy. Our Lord Mayor finished his work career at R.M. Young Company in TC uh, from 2001 to 2021. R.M. Young is an international manufacturer of meteorological instruments. Our Lord Mayor was responsible for all precipitation products and served as the company's safety director. He has one son, Devin Patrick, born in 1993. Our Lord Mayor joined the Hibernians in 2007, has served as treasurer and soldier of Aaron twice. He has been a regular participant in all AOH activities throughout the years. Please give a wild and raucous Irish round of applause to our 2024 Ancient Order of Hibernians Lord Mayor Dan Doherty. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you, Larry. You got to eat the mic. Thank you all. That's it. Best speech ever. It, yes. Best speech ever. It's an honor and a privilege to be your Lord Mayor. Now, if everybody's ready, let's parade and party on. Awesome. Congratulations, Dan. You can hang on to the plaque for a while. All right. We're going to uh, sing a great song to uh, honor our new Lord Mayor, uh, Danny Boy. I think everybody knows that. <laughs> oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone. And all the books is calling. It's you, it's you, must go and I must buy. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. And when ye come and all the flowers are dying, if I am dead, as dead I well may be, you'll come and find the place where I am lying and deal and say an ave there for me. And I shall hear the soft you tread above me, and all my grave shall linger sweeter be. For you will bend and tell me that you love me, and I shall sleep in peace until you come to me. All right, congratulations, Dan Doherty. Welcome to the club. Get ready to ride the unicorn. Okay, we're uh, getting ready to uh, wrap up here. And just a couple of more things. Uh, one more, 
one more honor to present, and that is the uh, Michael J. Shirley Hibernian of the Year Award. Well, we named this uh, Hibernian of the Year Award after Mike Shirley because of all of the uh, awesome things that he did 40, 40 years of helping organize this parade and really was known as Mr. Irish uh, in this community, still is. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn the microphone over to our president, John O'Brien, who will introduce uh, this year's Michael J. Shirley Hibernian of the Year. All right. Uh, I, before I share that real quick, I'd like to share a story about the first time I met Margaret. I, uh, I had to go in for my first um, colonoscopy. More and, details! And, <laughs> and from then on, every time Margaret would come up to me, she'd say, I didn't recognize you except from behind. That was her sense of humor. All right. Some would say that this guy's a handsome guy. Some might even say that he was intelligent and brilliant. Frankly, I don't think so. Given that he's going to become the president of this organization for the next two years, let's give a, a loud Irish round of applause uh, for the 2024 Hibernian of the Year and the next Ancient Order of Hibernian Don Brady Division President, Tim Brisbow. I kept it short. Are you? Are you, are you sure about this? We didn't have anybody else. I'm sorry. Thank you. It's really, it's humbling, really. Because this is, I never, ever expected this at all. Thank you. Parade on. Awesome. You'll earn that award the next two years trying to keep this group organized. Uh, so, uh, mistake was made. It wouldn't be the parade day if somebody didn't make a mistake, and I just uh, want to uh, make a correction because I didn't get I didn't get one of our maid of Aaron's names uh, correctly read. So I want to apologize to Ursula. It's Ursula Emmeline McKenzie Nolan. I missed the McKenzie, so I want to get that corrected. And Ursula, just want to let you know this will not be the first time a boy or a man will let you down. So there you go. I know. <laughs> oh, you are. She, already, she said she already knows. So, <laughs> okay. So now we can get, wrap everything up here. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, we're on the one road, and then a couple of quick announcements about the parade, and then as always, we'll finish with the Wild Rover. So let's let's everybody stand up and really sing these next two songs as loud as you can. We're on the one road, sharing the one load. We're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one road, it may be the wrong road, but we're together now, who cares? North men, South men, comrades of Dublin, Belfast, Cork, and Donegal. We're on the one road, swinging along, singing a soldier's song. Though we've had our troubles now and then, now is the time to make them up again. Sure aren't we all Irish anyhow. Now is the time to step together. Now we're on the one road, sharing the one load. We're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one road, it may be the wrong road, but we're together now, who cares? Northmen, Southmen, comrades all, Dublin, Belfast, Torquay, Donegal. We're on the one road, swinging along, singing a soldier's song. Tinker, tailor, every mother's son, butcher, baker, shouldering his gun. Rich man, poor man, every man in line. All together, just like old Lang Syne. We're on the one road, sharing the one load. We're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one road, it may be the wrong road, 
but we're together now, who cares? North men, South men, comrades all. Dublin, Belfast, Cork, and Canada, we're on the one road, swinging along, singing a soldier's song. Night is darkest just before the dawn, from dissension, Ireland reborn. Soon we'll all, united Irishmen, make our land a nation once again. We're on the one road, sharing the one boat. We're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one road, it may be the wrong road, but we're together now, who cares? North men, South men, comrades all. Dublin, Belfast, Cork, and Donegal. We're on the one road, swinging along, singing a soldier's song. Okay, I just got some instructions really quick from Rick Carroll. We got one more song to do, and then we're going to start heading outside. Your tables, some of us are staying back. Your tables will be held for you. You can come back after the parade, party a little bit, maybe go upstairs, watch Blue Footed Booby. So with that, right when we end, start packing up and heading out to the parking lot. And let's have a great parade. The sun is shining. It's almost 50 degrees, and let's really sing this song as loud as we can, The Wild Rover. I've been a wild rover for many a year, and I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer. But now I'm returning with gold and great store, and I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. I went to the ale house I used to frequent, and I told my landlady my money was spent. I asked her for credit, she answered me, nay, such a custom as yours I could have any day. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. I took from my pocket ten sovereigns bright, and the landlady's eyes opened wide with delight. She said, I have whiskey and wines of the best, and the words that I spoke were only in jest, and it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. I'll go home to my parents, confess what I've done, and I'll ask them to pardon their prodigal son. And if they forgive me as oft times before, shall I never will play the Wild Rover no more? And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Shall I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. Happy St. Daddy. Thank you. We'll see everybody out. Great. So we start on, let's like, pass the street. Right here. And then we go around. Yep, all the way around. Union Street. And end up back there. But where do we head over to front? I don't. I think you go all the way around past Nolan's. Go all the way to Borden and around. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yep.